Good morning and a very warm welcome to Asselbank Primary School. Usually we would have some open mornings where our year six children would show you round. Unfortunately in these times things have to be a little bit different. So this morning I'm going to take you on a tour and try to answer any questions you might have. We're going to go all through the school and see everybody at work this morning and um, if you do have any questions following the tour please call or email the school office and we'll be happy to answer your questions. So come on and join me and let's go in. Astrobank Bank Primary School is steeped in history and we were a first school up until 2018 when we became a primary for a local need and so now we see our children through to the end of their primary education and get them secondary ready to move on to the next stage in their learning journey. Most important to us here at Astrobank Bank are the relationships we build with our learners and the community. We want most for everyone to feel loved and cared for and a big part of our family at Assel Bank. So we try to make sure that we look at everybody's needs and we build our curriculum around that with lots of interest, um, enjoyment, visitors, visits out and immerse the children in the history of our school if they're doing that kind of topic. We try to cater for all different learning styles and so um, when the children first start um, we have a home visit and um, the reception staff start to build up a one-page profile which is a profile of your child that gives us the information we need to support them, um, gives us information of their interests and their abilities so that we can use that throughout school and support their learning to the best we can and pick up on those learning styles, kinesthetic, auditory, visual, uh, outdoor learning um, and, and just help them to shine and have wonderful memories of their primary school years. An important relationship obviously is the one we have with parents. Um, you know your children best and we have an open door policy where we hope you'll feed in ideas and interests for your child and what you know about them into their learning journey. So we have Evidence Me in reception um, and parents are a big part of feeding into that assessment process for how the children's learning is going. Reception works as a unit approach. They do a bit of teaching, followed by lots of the activities set up around the early learning goals that develop choice in independent learners. We are, adapt our curriculum to the children's interests um, and support them as best we can with lots of different skills. When the children start in reception, we concentrate on listening skills at first. Um, it used to be that we had um, a speech and language therapist that came out to support the children um, and parents with a parents workshop in these skills. Uh, but now um, we've done them for so many years that they're an integrated part of our curriculum and we find that it supports behaviour going forward. Our behaviour policy is a very positive one. Children are rewarded for making the right choice and to, for taking responsibility for their actions. So if there are any misdemeanours, we talk to the child and give them the responsibility and independence to put the behaviour right. Um, there's always a reason behind every behaviour, so we make sure we try to work with every child to ensure that they're happy and secure. And we do wellbeing checks throughout school so that we can check that they're buoyant and happy. And if not, we have a nurture group where we give them some support um, and try to build their confidence. We're a healthy school, so we have healthy snacks, milk and water for drinking. And uh, we have a hot lunch surface that comes and provides hot lunches um, in the hall at lunch times. A before and after school care, which is provided by Smiles Child Care. Um, Smiles is a nursery locally and they come onto the premises and provide a breakfast club from 7.30 and then um, an after school club until 6. 
We want our pupils to have a real love of reading and books and so we work hard to make sure that they have every opportunity to enjoy stories and learn how to structure a story themselves in their writing. So we start with Jolly Phonics and work through letters and sounds. Um, they have lots of opportunities to read in school and at home. And we have lots of reading clubs and events where parents are invited to come and read with the children in school. Um, lots of role models um, in to read with them and, and storytellers so that we have a wonderful love of books and reading and writing. The children work as a whole team to uh, support um, their PE colours, uh, which are the house teams. And um, as you can see, we, we have house points that are awarded for that. So a very positive um, environment. And the children can work and get head teachers awards. Um, we have learning drivers. So often there might have been a tough tortoise, um, a wise owl who's reflective, a resourceful squirrel or a team ant and um, they get a head teacher's award for those uh, elements of their work and other things obviously. Um, we also try and promote the children to fill each other's bucket we call it and it's just helping each other uh, feel good and uh, raise self-esteem so we pretend we have a bucket above our head and uh, we're a bucket filler not a bucket emptier so that's a, a nice uh, analogy for them to understand you know making each other feel good. We have interactive whiteboards in every class um, to support the curriculum and IT provision is good with laptops and iPads for the children to use throughout the curriculum and for IT provision. We have lots of whole school projects, um, lots that parents are invited to to celebrate with us. We want our children to sparkle and shine, as I've said. So we have lots of opportunities for them to play music, sing and dance, um, lots of performing arts. Every year we have a talent show and it is wonderful to see the little ones get up on the stage and perform in front of our whole school um, and each other respect and value everybody's contribution. It's an amazing um, day that is always my favourite. We have special history days, world book days, um, we have a modern foreign language day where the children have a passport and um, travel around school to different year groups uh, where they uh, experience different cultures um, so there's nothing like immersing them actually in the experience than uh, a better way to learn than that. Our governor's policy is to put as much money as we can into teaching and learning and therefore we have TA support in every class so that there are more adults to support the learners. We have specialists for PE, music and French who support the planning, preparation and assessment time that staff are able to have, uh, which is 10% of their teaching time. And we have the specialists to cover those times. And in reception, the children go to forest school with forest school leaders. We have an array of extracurricular activities in normal times where the children can choose from um, modern foreign languages, sporting, musical, no. dance, lots and lots of, of opportunities for them to shine and um, enjoy their interests through extracurricular. Where we can, we join in in community events and every year we are part of the carnival with a walking float um, and the walking floats go from our school. So it's a great opportunity for the children to see the wider world through their charity work and through um, community events. We're a mastery specialist school where we support other schools in teaching maths and um, work towards um, the mastery approach where everyone can uh, with fluency, problem solving and greater depth activities. And Mrs Khan is a professional development lead for that through our maths um, in school. 
we have amazing parental support. Uh, our PTA raises lots of funds and you may have seen in one of the lessons a visualiser which they brought us where the teacher can write um, and, and it visualises, uh, projects onto the board. Um, we have great governor support to help us to, to reach our aims and objectives. Every year we have a charity. Um, for the last couple of years it has been um, uh, mental health um, and healthy minds and um, every year we raise funds for the school charity. We have a school council and an eco council and the children have a big part in deciding what our charity is going to be and how we're going to raise the funds. A couple of years back we were part of the Big Sleuth in Birmingham and the PTA supported us. Us, um, to uh, get a hexi. Uh, we painted him and we had a, um, a design team um, and produced the bear that was part of the Big Sleuth in Birmingham and we raised um, £600 for um, the Birmingham Children's Hospital. We have the most amazing grounds, a bouldering wall, an orienteering grid and a fabulous forest school that the children absolutely love. Reception and year one go every week to forest school and the rest of the school use the outdoors in their curriculum as much as possible. I hope you have enjoyed our tour this morning and I hope you can see that we've got a very happy ship. Um, we've got lovely, happy, confident children, hopefully, that will have wonderful memories of their time here with us at Aswabank Primary. So um, we hope that you'll choose us and we look forward to starting your child's learning journey with you.